welcome to First Days with Johanna. I'm Johanna and today we are filming when I'm cleaning out my stash. Because that was something that came up last week and I sorted or I didn't sort through. I just put all of my stash together in one place and I realized that it's a lot of yarn and I need to do some sort of clean up. So now I spent the morning picking all the yarns together and before I even hit to record, I cleaned out my fabric stash because I don't have that much time to sew and I have too much fabric if I think that I want to fit all the yarn into, into the cupboard or yeah, into the cupboard there that my fabric and a part of my yarn was in. But the goal today is to sort through everything so that it will fit nicely into the cupboard. And as you can see, I still have some yarn left there on the shelf. And all of that is Jameson and Smith 2 ply in assorted colors. And I'm debating with myself back and forth is if that is something that will remain on the shelf or if it's something that I will try to sell off someplace. We will see how much other yarn I want to keep because that is a real thing, I think. I'm in my head, I've decided to be ruthless and to think about if I like working with the yarn. And if I don't like working with the yarn, or if I don't like the color, or if I don't like know what I will do with the yarn, then it needs to go. And all of that comes from a uh, YouTube video that I checked that was called like the unconscious to-do list or the invisible to-do list, something like that. I will link the video here so you can find it. And it was basically that all the stuff you have, all the stuff you keep, even if it's locked inside a cupboard or if it's stuff away somewhere, someplace, it's telling you something. You need to remember it you need to maybe i mean sort through the yarn is something that we need to do from time to time to make sure that we haven't gotten any small critters or animals or insects in it or yeah and just basically remind ourselves what we want to do with the yarn and we also every all the other things that we have around us. You need to be reminded to do some clean out or you need to remember that oh, I already have a tent up in the attic so I don't have to buy a new one or yeah. All of it adds up to a never ending to-do list. And when you're already feeling overwhelmed, like I do all the time, then for me, this is something that I realized that I need to do because it's, uh, Every time I open the cupboard to cupboard to take something out, then I remind myself of all the things that I haven't had time to do. So now I will try to clean out a lot of things to make to make that invisible to-do list a little bit shorter. And I already feel a slight bit of panic because it's so many things and Every time I pick up a skein, I'm like, oh, I want to do this with this and I want to do that. And so in my head, I've decided to be ruthless, but let's see how it goes. And yeah, uh, I will have a keep pile. I will have a sell donate pile because uh, I, I don't know what I will do quite yet. So. That is the two categories that will be. And if I can't decide straight away, no, yeah, if I can't decide straight away, it will be a third category for a short while. So I can dwell on it a little while, but it needs to be decided today. Because I think I need to have some, some rules about this because it's a lot of yarn and I want to do something with it so I have a good place to keep it and to yeah to know what I have I think I know but I don't know let's see let's uh, start straight away and 
I think I'm going to start with this one here. And at the moment, I think you can see me more than you can see the yarn. So I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit so you can see the yarn more. And I don't have to look at my face all the time. Yeah. So here we go. Here we have some... This is basically my box of sweater quantities. But I realized that I have other things in here. So that's why I need to clean it out, or one part of it. And as it turns out, I have a lot of uh, discontinued Barocco yarn in here. So Blackstone Tweed is no longer made what I know. And I don't really like to work with that yarn. So based on what I said that I would take in account before, all of that yarn needs to go, even if it's colors that could make something up for for someone in my family because that is colors that we wear but I have knitted two sweaters out of yarn and I don't particularly like it so let's just get rid of it and here's a little bit more in the blue I think six I think there were more yeah eight and one more brown and I'm not counting skeins that is not the goal here the goal is to have a stash that I like and that I feel is manageable and that I would like to work with so I think that was all of the Morocco yarn and if something more pops up then we take it from there but yeah here we have some dyed by me um what is it called alpaca silk uh, single a may single so all of it is hand dyed but it's just some leftovers and i don't think i will do anything else i have knitted hats with it and it works perfect but no I'm done with them so they go and that is so nice so nice okay what do we have in here in here there is rowan four ply pure wool 50 grams and I have five balls that will equal 160 meters so 800 meters and that is something that I actually can do a sweater out of for the kids. And it's a color that they will wear. So that is something that will stay in my sweater quantity. Now it's plastic again. That will stay. And then we have these two that were meant to be a sweater for me. But both of them are actually sock yarn and both of them are superwashed and with nylon and I don't particularly like to wear sweaters with nylon or with superwash no with nylon in them superwash is okay but nylon in them so I'm gonna put them over at my sock yarn pipe and it's also a color that is not maybe something that I will put on if I make a cardigan out of it so I put them over at my sock yarn pile because it's sock yarn and well let's face it I like sock yarn a small leftover and I don't know even know what it is so away it goes then we have these we have more browns and this is some very old uh, Angoretta or Angorette from Italy and it's hand dyed by a Swedish hand dyer called Tant Kofta. I have four large skeins and two smaller green ones and that will definitely be a cardigan someday so that needs to stay that is just the way it is. Okay, then we have a 
a big bag of Knit Picks palette in orange, in green, blue, and a very pale gray. And that is something that is really hard to get a hold of in Sweden and something that I do want to work with. And I like the colors and there is not enough of it to actually make a cardigan. So back into the bag and it will, it will stay in my stash. Okay, here we have some thrifted cotton yarn from La Lane. I don't know where it's from. Uh, I guess it's Swedish because it says it's Swedish on here. It's supposed to be indigo dyed and 100% cotton yarn. But I don't like to work with cotton. So this is something that is doomed to stay in my stash like forever. So based on that, it needs to go. So back into the thrift store, I guess, or yeah, we will see if I will sell it or if it goes someplace else. There is a lot of skeins at least. So you have um, every chance to do something with it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen skeins. So that is a lot of it go gone. And then at the bottom we have another sweater quantity from Gotland Spinnery, and that is a keeper. That is woolly Gotland wool <laughs> wool yarn. And it will definitely make up for a lovely sweater when, when I knit with it. So that is 100% a keeper. But hey, I'm down to like four sweater quantities. This is something that I sold in my store before and it's been left over and it's not something that I'm going to knit with, so off it goes. And then we have the um, Brooklyn Tweed Arbor yarn that I made a sweater for my son out of recently. I have two full skeins plus a little bit plus some white and blue left. It's not enough to make a sweater out of. But I still want to keep it, I think, because the color combination is really stunning. And I'm thinking like mittens or a hat or maybe both. So that will stay for a little while. Now it's only this project bag left in this box. So um, I think I'm going to move this box and actually keep it to something that I could put all the yarns in that I want to keep. So I sort everything back into it and this will be my keep box until I can move it into, into the correct place again. Okay, so we have this bag left. Okay, so here is some superwash uh, merino wool that I called Super 8 because it's like a lot of ply, so it's very round and very twisted. And I have made different sort of hats in them. This is actually a hat that I like to wear. So I don't know what it's, or I do know what it's doing in there because I was knitting up 
the same one again or with different kind of yarns and stuff but oh this is hard this is all the yarn that is left from all of it and actually I think it needs to go I'm kind of done with it and maybe I can no, I don't really even see a hat in here nope it's gone uh, I think it was three small skeins to make a hat like this and can't really see a color combination to make that kind of hat and then it needs to go that is the way it is yeah I haven't even woven in the ends on this hat so and I don't know who it will fit but it needs to have the ends woven in before I can decide on that and a project bag cleared out this is a project bag that my mom sewed yay so much yarn already just gone but i haven't started on the hard stuff yet okay so what are we gonna do now i think hmm well this was a gift it's a Latvian mitten kit and I do want to make the mittens so it's keep even if it takes up a lot of space with all of the cardboard and, and stuff but it's a pretty package and you get well you don't get the needles that you need but you get the yarn and you get the pattern and it tells you how many stitches to cast on and how to do. So this is definitely a keeper for a pair of mittens someday. I'm actually dreading to sorting my sock yarn. So Let's keep that on hold a little bit longer and I will try to adjust and I will pour out one of these bags and we will see what we can find in there. Okay, that was a lot of yarn. Rational and if I don't know what I'm going to do with it, it needs to go. So we will start with this one. It's too little to do something with it and I don't have the same color and I don't even know if I have the same yarn. Maybe I do somewhere, but nope, it will go. And the same with this one. Then this is also something left over from my shop before that needs to go. This is hand dyed by me from my number one base. So it's actually something that I think I want to incorporate into some color work of some sorts, into mittens or something. So that will stay. This is just one skein of Marks and Cattens Echo Wool, and it's a real lovely yarn. I love it for mittens, but one skein won't get me far, so it needs to go. And here we have some Mano del Uruguay, and also one skein only, and I think it works perfectly with the amazing yarn that I showed before, but it needs to go. I don't know I don't think I want to work with it so let's throw it out or not not throw it out you know what I mean 
and the same with this one I don't know and I don't think that I need want to work with it and here we have one more I don't know and I don't think I want to work with it okay oh some leftover lace yarn and that is a little bit of special stash at the moment because I do make lace swatches with it so let's ah oh, but it's a different kind of yarn so no let's just get rid of it and here we have some more in the Jameson Aran wool and this won't take me far so it needs to go even though that Red and yellow looks very nice together, but mm -mm. it's gone. It's gone. Let's see. We have some more tangle up yarn here, and I think this is a duster of some sort, but I don't know what I want to do with it. So let's put it in the donate pile. And this is also what I think is a Lester, but donate pile it is. This actually feels kind of good to do, even if I have a lot of angst about it. This is also, this is, I know that I hand dyed this one, uh, but I don't know what I want to do with it. Maybe mittens. Should I keep it and make mittens out of it? Ooh, doo -doo. It's one of the first yarn that I ever hand dyed. So let's keep it in a maybe pile for a little bit and see if I can make some mittens out of it. Then we have some old Swedish spinnery yarn. We have some Moriab. There's two hanks at least and two different shades of blue. And it's only been through the thrift store, so it says uh, 25 crowns in here. Um, 25 crowns, that is like two dollars. And it's enough to make mittens, but oh. And it's nice colors and I know that they would get worn and let's keep them let's keep them here is some Rauma Finnur and this is maybe all of the Rauma that I have so I don't really see why I should keep just one skein so it will need to go and here is some pure silk yarn uh, that I don't know what I will turn that into, so it needs to go. I have one skein in this Isaga Highland wool, but I really like the color of that one, and I want to keep it because it's so lovely. Really thin yarn and. I actually made almost like a lace project out of this yarn. Yeah, you see here, I have some more of a lighter color and th those two together will be just so pretty in a hat or something. It needs to stay. It needs to stay. So some hand spun that I don't know anything more about that needs to go. Some very fluffy mohair that I don't particularly like to work with, so it needs to go. Uh, random purple wool yarn. Okay, what is this? This is also some old Bergeå. This is also very old Swedish wool uh, spinnery. But it says that it's not knitting yarn it's more for like furniture or weaving and that's why i think it needs to go because 
I'm not going to start weeding anytime soon. I think this is the same. Yeah. So here's two skeins of that. Three skeins of that. Oh, one more more move yarn. Now I'm almost up to a sweater, even if it's two different kinds of blue. Um, we can definitely do something with that, I think. Nope, uh, yeah. Two, three skeins of Noyad. One is a little bit smaller than the rest, but needs to go. I don't know when that is, but it feels very soft and very nice. Oh. It's like two different shades, so it's one white ply and one grey, and it feels very, very nice, and I need to remember what it is. So let's put it in maybe pair four, so a random blue yarn. That one needs to go. And here is some lace yarn, like very, very fine lace yarn. And that is something that I want to make something out of, so Let's keep that one. And it's hand dyed by me too. So, random sock yarn, I think. And let's put it over at sock yarn at the moment. Two skeins of wool yarn that I really don't know what I should do out of. Mittens. I want to make mittens of this, the red and the grey together. Because, yeah, I think they have enough contrast to actually do some mittens out of. Let's put them in the cute pile. This is quite okay so far. A uh, very small leftover of Angora that will be donated. Some other leftover. I actually think this is Madeleine Tosh, but it needs to be donated. Here we have some more number one yarn from Hand Dyed by Me, and I definitely want to put that into the color work that I was planning with this one because these two together with a different background color. So, but it, I think they will play happily together. And then I have a lot of skeins of Magazine Duet in their super soft yarn. And this is basically the same yarn that holds super soft or there is one more that escapes me now. But I have enough to make a cardigan, a striped cardigan. I have some of this uh, mouflon. Yeah. I have three skeins of that actually <laughs> so that is a lot because it's a lot in each and every of the skeins and then I have one darker brown called tobacco and then we have a different there is a little bit of difference in those two but it's this basically it says it's the same color but and then we have some pebble and some more bio yarn. Let's throw that out. Uh, donkey. And I have a blue, a ice blue, and nougat. And Magazine Duet is not selling yarn any longer, so, but I can always add on to some more. Uh, like holst or something if I need more colors or if I need more yarn in any sorts of it. I think I'm gonna keep it because these 
or at least these five plus a little bit more I think will make a perfect sweater so maybe just add on one more of these and hold them together and knit a sweater out of it it needs to stay all of it and be counted into my sweater stash I think oh then we have some pure alpaca yarn and I was thinking some kind of shawl with this or some uh, big cowl or something and I'm still thinking about that so let's keep it maybe even in brioche there was some more magazine duet and even one more here okay how are we doing we found some more of my hand dyed super eight yarn let's put it away here we have some malabrigo i don't even know what that is i thought i had some more i have this one and i thought i even had more well let me see that yarn It's not sock yarn, even if it's said they call it sock, uh, but it's pure superwash merino. And I don't know what I want to do with it. And you all know what I said then, it needs to go. Here's one more of it. Mm, that would make it harder because now I have a lot of that one. What can I do with? 175 grams. It's enough to make a sweater for my daughter, but I don't think she want to wear blue. And it's not enough to make a sweater for my son. And it throws off a little bit with maybe like that. He would definitely wear it because he had already ordered a hat in this yarn so would that be enough for a sweater for him let's put that in the maybe pile for a little while this one needs to go then we have some lace cashmere lace and i think from the beginning this was meant to be a sweater a faded sweater because i have white light light gray gray dark gray and black and it could be a, a shawl too i don't really know at the moment but it's definitely something that needs to be kept. It's not going anywhere. And then we have some Rowan fine lace, uh, surreal packet and Merino. 50 grams for it, so it's 800 meters to per 100 gram. And let's see, we have two black, one dark gray, a blue, two reds and a white and I'm okay with all of the colors except for the blue I don't really know uh, the other ones I really like but let's throw away throw out the blue one and even if that one is a darker gray then I think it can work in some sort of combination with this so let's keep all of it some hand dyed tweed yarn that mm, I know I dyed it 
and I know it's my yarn, but I'm not gonna keep it. And some more barillon. That was an entire bag. Wow. Wow. I only have three things in the maybe pile. And let's hold on to that one a little bit longer. This one that I don't know what it is. I still really like the color of it and I really like the feel of it. So I'm thinking a hat because it's so it's so soft. And now I actually have an idea of what it could be. So I want to keep that. And this one will be perfect mittens for my husband. So I'm keeping it. So all of my maybe pile just went into my keep pile. I'm still dreading my sock yarn. So I'm going to keep off that a little bit longer. I have some uh, to play lace weight from Jameson Smith. And that is definitely something that I want to keep because lace is something that I do knit and I like the Jameson yarn. I had three ones in here and that adds up to like 600 meters and that could be a small lace shawl. So keep. Okay. I'm gonna grab the next bag and let's see what you all, or what I think about that all of that yarn. It's getting harder and harder, I must say. Random wool yarn, not gonna keep. And here is two more, not gonna keep them. This is... Volstets one ply yarn and definitely want to make like a woolly lace shawl out of it. So keep it is. And here we have some Estonian uh, two ply yarn. It's <laughs> it's perfect for mittens and stuff and some color work. And again, I can't, can't believe that I keep on pairing red and blue, but apparently that is my colors. And yeah, four skeins. I thought I had one more, but I don't. So four skeins, perfect for color work mittens. And I really like them. And both of these two are dyed on gray yarn because there are subtle shifts in them. Definitely a keep. Now it will be crinkly. I'm so sorry. Here's some stranded uh, in the blue rinse colorway and in Marina nylon cashmere. Definitely a keep. It's 1200 meters, so mm, could be a sweater. Definitely a keep. And I had one more skein of stranded dye works. I thought it was in here, but it's not. I must have it someplace else. Let's take some more lace yarn. This is also a wool lace yarn from... Um, I bought it in Estonia, but it's from Austria, it says. So that's a keep. And this is a... Uh, also, it's... Japanese lace yarn and definitely something that I want to keep. It's also a free ply, so it will be really interesting to work with that. Uh, most of the lace yarn that I have worked with is a two ply. Keep and keep. Keep and keep. <sighs> I had one more skein of the Hia. Uh, to ply yarn so it was a dark blue over there then we have some blacker yarn mohair blend that could be used for socks i have these 
free, I think. Looks like it. Free skeins and definitely keep, but I want to keep them with my sock yarn. And random wool yarn, not gonna keep. Here is some Jämtland yarn and some Finul yarn from uh, Swedish fiber. Really, really pretty yarns, but uh, could could be a pair of mittens for my daughter. So let's keep them. And some random lace yarns left over and I don't know what happened here. But this is some of my lace yarn that I dye in, in my shop. And that is perfect for when I want to test out some lace patterns and stuff. So those need to be kept almost like a working stash. Oh, then we have two different ones here. Here is some Wolstedt two ply set twisted yarn. So this is for like to end knitting. I bought them. I really love them, but I haven't to end knitted in four, five, six years. But they are so hard to get a hold of. Oh my gosh. Will I take the time to two and knit? Do I need to have special yarn for it? Yes. I don't know if I will take the time to two and knit, but I definitely need to keep the yarn. Then we have some JC Rennie Super Soft. And this is 246 mm. This is a little bit thicker than the Holst Super Soft. And I even have the beginning of a mitten or something that I actually started to work with this yarn. <laughs> But it's sitting in my stash. I don't know. Maybe I should count this as a whip instead. Because it, yeah. Here is the blue and the gray too. Or the cuff of a sweater. But then I need to make it even more striped. And maybe add on some more yarn. Because it's really fine needles at the moment. Uh, let's keep all of them because I love the I love the colors and I do want to work with the Rennie yarn to see how it holds up. That was that bag too. Now I think I need to take a break and drink something and recharge a little bit before I tackle my sock yarn because that pile is huge. But you don't really see that at the moment, but I do. And I also need to empty out my keep box because that is kind of full. Let's see if we can adjust the camera a little bit so you can see how much yarn there is in the keep box. So I think we need to empty that one out and then start on the sock yarn. I'm back after a small break. And I decided to actually tackle the sock yarn. I have some more left over or bits and pieces over there, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to tackle the sock yarn. But before, this is the Wallstedt uh, set twinned yarn that is mainly for two end knitting. And after mulling over it a short while I decided that it needs to go because I haven't to end knitted in six or seven years and I won't be making the time now so they need to go and if I decide to to end it and I really really need some set twin yarn then 
I will go find it somehow. This is really, really, really hard because I do love my sock yarn. I've really tried to sort out things from it before, but I couldn't. So every skein that goes into not save is, I don't know. Maybe I should just keep it all because I still want it. And I think that with my circular knitting machine, it will go a little bit faster to create some socks out of it. And because that is the thing that I want to do with all of it. I want to knit socks. I just need to find some more time. Well, I do have this one, the onion nettle yarn. But that is also something that I want to try out to see if that holds up. Two shades of purple in that in that yarn. So I want to keep that. This is a free ply sock yarn, so it's thinner than most of the other sock yarns. And let's see how many shades I have of that one. I put that aside a little bit. This is some hand dyed yarn in an opal base, I think. It's hand dyed by me and really, really would like to see how that works out for a pair of socks or two pairs. This is a superwash merino a nylon hand dyed by me. Really want to keep. This one is a little bit hard, so maybe that is okay to... Yeah, that one goes. It's also hand dyed by me, but that one goes one skein. Hey, everyone is a win, right? Yellow socks, I really, really like this yellow. And it's so bright and shiny and happy. So more yellow socks, perfect. Yes, I want to keep that. Here is some more free ply yarn. Let's see what we can come up with with those later on. Hmm. Two skeins of the same hand dyed yellow one. Well, I do like yellow socks. Yeah. And I see that we have four skeins of the same green and that is a sweater quantity in uh, opal yarn base I will think and it's hand dyed by me and it will look so pretty as a sweater but I don't particularly like to wear it with superwash and nylon but I'm thinking socks <laughs> even if I have four skeins because I know that everyone will wear them and I'm not really thinking about color that much so down they go and then we have some more sock yarn also in the same yellow greenish colorway also hand dyed by me and this is the skew number two so it's Corridale nylon not superwash I want to keep those. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much yarn. Hand dyed, hand dyed by me, hand dyed by me, hand dyed by me. And I want to keep them all. Just slight variegations, but down they go. There's one more. But these two are a little bit intense. It's also hand dyed by me, uh, Superwash Merino Nylon. But they're really, really intense. Let's put them over there. That's free skeins. Hooray! 
we have some sock blanks. I want to keep the sock blanks because they are so fun to work with. And that the, the sock blank is literally a piece of fabric that is knit up and then you unravel it and knit something else with it. So it's a skein of yarn, but it's knitted. So you can dye it up in, in fun ways. You can see here, I have some black over here and the rest of it is pretty red. And that will make for a different kind of skein that, than what you can do when you dye up in a skein. And here is another version of a sock blank where you can fade it out and it's knitted as a tube. But that also needs to be re-knit before you can wear it as a pair of socks. And there is some sock blanks that are knitted with two strands at the same time. So then you will basically get two 50 gram balls when you unravel them. And yeah, as I said, keeping all the sock blanks because they're fun to knit from. Right, we have one more green, blue, or gr green and blue, green and yellow skew sock yarn and that one goes in two then that makes four of them i don't know four is too many okay quick decision three of these will go into the cell pile now i only have one left of those This one was hand dyed with uh, earth palette, cold water, or cold paint, or what do you call it? Cold dye? That is, if you haven't tried that one, go try it, because that is the most fun thing to, to dye up a yarn with. You actually paint on the yarn and then put it in a plastic bag, seal it, wait for the eight hours, rinse the yarn off and you have dyed some wool it's so fun to work with this one needs to stay okay do i have more of my own hand dyed yarn in here i have some minis or one mini i have this one that i showed you before Definitely want to make these two into socks and I like this mini, so that needs to stay too. And I don't know if this is my yarn or if it's someone else, but let's put it over there. I think this is my hand dyed yarn and I like the color, so I think that one will stay. This one is also hand dyed with uh, almost hand painted. Hmm, not really my color, it's too much of a pastel. And that means that it needs to go. Hey, it was getting easier and easier. Uh, a little piece of a sock blank. Still enough to make something out of, so I will keep that one. That was also hand dyed by me. Okay, I think we are moving into other hand dyers work and I don't know how many of them are still operating. I know Andesana is still operating. This one doesn't have a tag. I think this is my yarn too. Apparently I like to dye up green. Uh, I want to keep it for sure. I like I like the color. Let's see if I can find the Mansana. But I have the old label on her on her yarn. So she's definitely still dyeing. It's a Swedish hand dyer. I have this one and this one. I don't know if I have anything else from her. 
I do. I have this one too. That is also from her. Three different, or one black, two different grays, and a very pink yarn. These two would definitely make it to socks, but will this make it into socks? Yeah, I think they will. Somehow they will make their way into socks. Um, here's some more of my own hand dyed. I think that one too. And keeping those free and going on that one, I think. A uh, deep breath and then we go again. What shall we take now? I have a skein of Highland Handmade and that is definitely a keeper. I love these colors. They are so full and fall like and oh, I love it. Needs to be in here. And then we have some mint rain hand dyed. I have this one, it's called Outlander, it's self-striping. This one, it's called Ravenclaw, I guess. Yes, it's also self-striping. And this one, it's called James Kilt. It's also Outlander inspired. This one is called Potions Master. And that is Harry Potter inspired, also self-striping. All of them. <laughs> I need to keep all of them. There is no question about it. And then I have two sets of mini skeins from her too. Mint rain hand dyed yarns. And this is also Outlander inspired, so she dyed up. A colorway for each of the episodes from Outlander season one and season two. And I can't get rid of those. <laughs> they need to be in here. I don't really know what to do with them, but they needs to be in there. Was that all of the mint rain? I think so. Now it's this is also Mint Rain. Uh, it's a Harry Potter inspired mini. Uh, I need to keep them too. There we go. I think this one is also a self striping, but the colors aren't really speaking to me at the moment. So they go over there. Then we have some limo yarn and this one is a sparkly colorway called like grandpa's shirt and it sparkles and it's so fun and I need to keep it for 100%. And this one goes over there. Don't really know when that was and now we have some more hand dyed. We have Gender Twist Studio in the colorway Lally Brush and Yes Sweet Pre. Both of them Outlander inspired. I really like the series Outlander. And yeah, need to keep them. Then we have. We have two, no, this one isn't. We have one Jinx yarn. I thought I had two, I don't. Jinx yarn is no longer dying. This one is a self-striping called Witching Hour. And oh my gosh, I need to keep this one. I need to knit it out into socks. So, so pretty. 
Now we have one yarn from String Fairy. And this is also a little bit of sparkle because it has Stellina in it. Yeah, you can see the sparkles from time to time. And uh, mm, 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 mm. it is Superwash Merino Nylon Stellina, also a keeper. Then we have, I thought I had more wool and wine, apparently not. We have one skein of wool and wine yarn, and it's a really, really old one because this was when, yeah. And it's called Lady of the Lake, and that is also a keeper for sure. Just need to get around to actually knit with my sock yarn because now it's getting a lot and I still have one big box to go. Here we have two skeins of a homespun house and this was part of her club for a Gilman Girls club. So we have uh, Superwash Merino Nylon and Superwash Merino Cashmere Nylon. <laughs> They're really, really fun and I want to keep them both. So we do not judge, we do not ask questions, we just keep them. Here we have two 50 gram skeins of Rowan Shepherd Sock, Superwash Nylon, Superwash Wool Nylon, and they are called Black Watch. And I think they will make pretty socks and I want to keep them both. No, it's Lorna's laces. It's not. Uh, it's not Rowan. It's Lorna Lorna's laces. Keep both of them. Then we have some DK weight yarn, and we have four skeins of it here. Three different gray greens and a pink. And they will make for a fun some sort of fun uh, striped socks, I think. Two greens and one go with the purple, uh, pink instead. So that is a keeper. They go, they are fast to knit and they are cozy on the feet during the winter. This one is a leftover sport weight yarn uh, and it's not enough for me to do anything with. So I think they go to someplace else. I already said that I want to keep these, the Blacker Yarns Mohair Blends that you can make socks out of. Now it will crinkle, I'm so sorry. Here we have a kit from Hand Dyed in Sweden from Tent Kofta. I really like the colors and I think it's going to be a keeper. Then we have some more plain Regia uh, tweed yarn, uh, white yarn with some tweed flex in it. I think it will be a good striping yarn or something. Um, so let's just put it in there. Here we have another full of Regia. It's their Arna and Carlos line in, yeah, in a soft striping needs to be in here and here we have a West Yorkshire signature four ply yarn and definitely need to keep that one I want so much want to knit this into socks but all my commercial yarn will most likely make it onto my new circular sock machine that's why I have so hard of a time to part from any of my sock yarn at the moment. But we have this big box too. And I'm starting to get worried about the space that I actually have. Uh, let's put out this small basket and take all of the small leftover sock yarns and swaps that I've gotten them in and stuff like that and put them over here because it's like 10 gram balls that can 
be nice for a couple of stripes or something else in uh, in the sock. So we have some more, and we have some hanks, some one balls of sock yarn. Jameson and Smith's yarn is not really appropriate to be in here. So leftover socks coming up soon, I guess. Because this basket was pretty full after all of those. Do we have anyone else in this bin? No, this one wasn't that much. Could go in there too. And this one. That sounds about right. Okay, let's empty out the big basket and see what we can do with that. This is so, so hard. Okay. I have a stash of Patton's Croy sock yarn. And that is not something that I will have to work on in my circular sock machine, I think. But I really like the yarn and I like the colors. and it's really hard to get a hold of in Sweden, so I want to keep all of them. And I guess I'm just going to do that because they are perfect for socks. They work for mittens and I like them. So no questions asked, no judgment, no nothing, just keep them. As I said, the sock yarn is the hardest yarn to get rid of anything. I even have these two to match, even though I thought that I just had a single skein of them. There is some more. This one is a single skein, I think. But I could be striped with some black or something else to make socks still. Was that all of the patterns? Now it is, I think. No? One more. And this one and this one is also patterns croy. That was no here's more. <laughs> Here's some grey too. And some blue. Great. That was the sock patterns croy socks. These two are uh, Superwash Merino Nylon and Donegal Neps and you can absolutely put them in socks uh, but actually they won't work in my circular sock machine and I don't think that I'm gonna knit them into socks so I will put them over there in that pile And this is a leftover of a Regia yarn and I have knitted it into socks once and I don't really want to work with this one in this colorway again. So don't make pile it is or I don't know what I should be doing with it but I keep on saying don't make pile. Here is a hand dyed yarn by me and that is a keeper. This one is a leftover Atsano yarn I think I don't think they are making sock yarns anymore and don't really like the color don't really like to work with the yarn so off it goes here we have some more hand dyed by me and 
really odd ones out but I've liked them all and that's why they are a keeper. Now this, my basket is getting full. That was the way it is. And here we have some tiger yarn from Jättegarn. What I can see they don't make this anymore and I made like three pairs of socks out of it for my son and he really liked them. I made two of these and one of these I think. He really liked them and I think I can squeeze out some more of it, them so they are a keeper even if they're old. But he likes the socks. This one is definitely something to put on the circular sock machine and get a pair of socks out for my husband. He would really wear those colors. He's not picky, but he would we really wear those colors. We have one skein of Knit Picks Felici and this one is a keeper, even if it's just 50 grams, I need to come up with something else that I can do for the rest of the sock, but I have some skeins that can work with those colors. Now, if I put anything more in this one, it will most likely fell out of it again. Here is one more skein of my own hand dyed yellow yarn that I already put two skeins in there but it's i love this colorway so i guess it's still kind of a keeper then we have some gray yarn in two different brands and two different yeah one from coats crafts and one from shuttle wool uh, but grey sock yarn is something that you can never have enough of if you want to make cuff and heels and toes and stuff. So they go into the keep pile. Then we have two skeins of hand dyed self striping yarn and that is definitely a keeper. Both of them are from Nomadic Yarns and they, when this one is harry potter inspired it's called hermione and this one is uh, on the road both of them are keepers no questions asked I even saw that i have a small harry potter charm sitting on here waiting for me so they will get knitted some sometime don't know when quite yet Yes, we have two skeins of Regia, one perfect uh, that will be blue and red and one self striping that will be candy colored. Maybe it should reassemble like candy canes. Both of them will be knit into socks at some point. keeps on falling out now. Then we have some West Yorkshire spinners. We have three skeins in here. Two of them are one colored and one self striping. And I, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because that is not really a colorway that speaks too much to me. But this one looks very nice with the other self striping one. So that one is a keeper. Now we're down to some opal, I think. Yes. Some very old opal and even something that has been knitted into something else. A purple one. Uh, darker purple. A brown. A black. A white tealy blue and orange. All of them are staying. Uh, 
and this one is also staying because it will be knitted into socks that will get worn uh, yeah let's hope that i fit into the screen because it's hard this is not my normal setup and i don't really know where to go that was all of my sock yarn and i feel like i actually sorted that out more than i thought that i was gonna do so I won't beat myself up too much that I actually kept this much sock yarn. Hopefully it will still fit into, <laughs> into the cupboard that it needs to go into. Otherwise I need to have a second rethink about everything. I have one more basket to go and I'm actually running out of time. So I will try to do this as quickly as I can. And this is a basket of all the different things that I don't know where to put and it could be projects that are started and I really don't know what's in here. We start off with some linen yarn. I think I bought it to actually make some uh, dish scrunchies with, with it. I haven't got around to it. I don't think that I'm gonna do it. Um, I actually have some that my sister crocheted for me, so maybe I can give this to her and see if she wants to crochet with the linen. Um, here's some more linen. So I will see if she wants to do something with this, otherwise it will go into the into the pile over there. This one is a spool, also of linen yarn, but it's so much thinner than the other one. And I really, I, I won't be knitting anything out of this yarn. So it will just go into the donut pile. Here is a small hank of hemp yarn. Um, Maybe that also can go into be made for a dishcloth or something. I don't know. I need to look that one up before I do something. This one is one skein of stranded industrial kingfisher yarn in a single ply. I can't say that I know what I will make because I don't have that many single yarns, but I want to keep it. Mm, hard. Maybe pile it is for a while. Some more James and Smith, it will go into the wardrobe or cupboard. This one is hand dyed free ply wool that will be turned into a sweater at some point. I have some more of this purple. And yeah, that was planned for like two years ago. So maybe soon it will get onto the needles and actually worked up to the sweater that I know it will be. Then we have a bag of some leftover uh, hand dyed sock yarn that will be crocheted into a blanket. There are five different shades of green, there are some shades of pink and some shades of turquoise and all of them will be matched with a white sock yarn and crocheted into a blanket. So they stay together in this bag so I will keep track of them. Then we have some leftover Rowan felted tweed. It's not a yarn that I particularly like to work with so that one will go into that pile over there. One actually is far under my bed at the moment. Uh, a small lamp that you can have around your neck if you want uh, to see better when you are working on something. A lot of samples, different ones knitted up. 
testing out patterns, I guess. And uh, trying to felt some sample to see what's working and what's not and how it worked up afterwards. Uh, some mosaic knitting. Well, samples is samples. Um, it's not really something that I can work too much out of at the moment. So let's just put them over there. Some Scooby-Doo uh, strands that you can use while trying on your knitting or sliding your stitches onto if you want to have something else holding them instead of some needles. Those are a keeper, but it's not really yarn. Here is some more Rowan felted tweed. And as I said, I don't particularly like working with this yarn and I don't have enough to make a sweater. So off it goes. What's in here? Oh, I know what's in here. This is a work in progress. Let's put it that way. I've been making some like these small hexi puffs and it was ages since I last knitted on this, but they are here and I have some yarn for it. And I know that a lot of my uh, small sock yarn scraps will go into that. And I keep them in this small purse. And I also keep them in here in this big, big bag. I started to crochet some of them together. Let's see where we have the hook here. Let's pull a big strand. Um, to make some kind of blanket, some, yeah, let's see how we go with that one. All of it is to be kept, uh, it's not something that I want to get rid of, and yeah, this hank is also something from an old yarn that I sold in my shop and I don't know what sh I shall do with it and you know, it goes over there. And that was also a remnant of unnamed wool yarn. An unnamed wool yarn. Now we only have this bag to open and then I actually sorted through my stash. Wow. Oh, haha. <laughs> This is knitting from when I was in Estonia, trying out traveling stitches. Uh, maybe I don't need to keep this exactly as it is, but the yarn is something that I will keep and the instructions and everything. Uh, even the bag is from Estonia. So that is a keeper. And one last piece of swatch. That was it. It's only this one that I'm still mulling over. And even if I don't know what it will be, I need to keep it and I will pair it with some other singles that I can get a hold of. And let's see what I can do out of it. It goes in there. Well, <laughs> thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, uh, this uh, was very interesting for me and I think being on camera made me stick to actually sorting out my yarn and actually make the decisions. So thank you very much and I hope to see you next week when we will be talking more about what I'm working on. Maybe even sort through all my whips. I don't know really. Um, I don't have... I keep on saying that I don't have that many, but I know that if I put them all together, it will be a big pile. So uh, we will see what happens next week. And until then, have a great time and happy knitting. Bye.